Hello everyone, today I will talk a few words about suspension from our bikes. The front forks are from uh, Sachs company, a German company. Uh, those forks are pretty good quality, they are not uh, the best quality like Ochlin's, uh, but you can make a good, a good ride, good times of them if they are set properly. What do, you, what do I mean by set? The first thing you need to do is to install a proper springs for your weight. If your weight without uh, gear, let's say uh, helmet, jacket and, and boots and, uh, and pants, so let's say naked, if it's in range between 65 and 75 kilograms, there is a big chance uh, that you don't have to change spring at all. It, it, is, it is important how fast you ride. Faster you ride, the harder suspension has to be. That's how it how it goes. <clears throat> Generally, what I found is that from 65 to 75 kilograms, even 80 kilograms, if someone is not that fast, is okay. But for example, I weighed almost 100 kilograms, 96, so I had to insert. Uh, harder springs the stock springs are uh, 475 0, 0 0.475 I have right now 0 0.52 and I must admit that they are pretty stiff I don't ride that fast but I feel that this is I think a little bit too stiff I also added an oil uh, 7.5 W which is a little bit thicker than the stock 5W and the air gap uh, is uh, in stock there is 125 millimeters from here from top to, to down <coughs> I, I shorted it down to 100 millimeters and it made suspension even stiffer so generally you need to uh, adjust this air gap which, which is called air gap to how stiff your uh, your forks will be during the final press out okay let's go from the top in here you can see two screws first one the small one is to release uh, air from uh, from the fork if there is too much air it may cause uh, some issues with blowing um, oil uh, for example through seal from here so remember that from time to time it is good to release uh, not wanted air pressure from fork but the second screw here on this on the on the top it is a rebound what is a rebound rebound is the the movement of fork uh, from when it's topped to the to, sorry when, when it's pressed to the top it means how fast your fork will will uh, go to its to its starting position so for now as you can see it's going to to top pretty pretty fast okay and now I will take a screwdriver I will turn the screw clockwise to the end but pre remember to not use too much force okay okay it's not going anywhere else I will just go one click back and now we can see the difference you remember how fast it was going up and check right now you see it's not the big difference because it's not there is no no bike weight on it but there is a difference Okay, there is a difference. So, how I adjust rebound? First of all, I adjust compression. Compression is on the other side of fork, here. So, to, to adjust a proper compression, we need to be aware how, how far away our fork is diving. To do so, we can install a simple O-ring here, or, or some for example, uh, fast zip, whatever is, is easy to 
install here and observe how install of course in this area and then observe how far away down it will go far uh, it will go down it means that, that, that the fork for uh, dives uh, harder okay if it's gonna bottom up the end it means that the fork is too uh, too too soft okay but uh, we need to find a balance between how how uh, um, okay let's select that the more stiff suspension so compression is is hard the bike will generally drives better okay but you will feel every uh, every bump every hole every stone on the road so we need to find a balance between a, 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 a proper riding and a comfort so to, to, to do that what I suggest is to find out how many clicks on this area here sorry we have uh, and go to the middle okay let's see how many we have right now right now it's it's actually turned out fully so we can see I will just show you the difference between fully uh, unscrewed and fully turned in okay so now it's I will just turn uh, turn out rebound as well So now, uh, now compression uh, underneath and rebound here are fully uh, open. So there should be less resistance than when it's, it's, uh, it's, in, it's turned on. So let's try here. Okay, you can see, you can't really see how deep it's going, okay, but let me let me do it like that, wait a second okay visible better right now? not much, but okay but let's, let, maybe it's, it's gonna be better like that, okay, and you can see that it is not that soft because I have already Stiff, stiff spring inside, but you can see that I'm able to to press it even uh, only with my weight. Okay, so now let's put the rebound to the uh, let's say almost uh, uh, full. I will just turn out like, like five clicks, maybe five, and let's change. Compression uh, to the maximum and go out one one click, one or two clicks. It depends on. Uh, okay, and now let's see the difference. Look out! Ugh. I can tell you, it's it's much harder to press it and okay and now why I suggest to start with compression what I found in those uh, forks that rebound is it is not a separate uh, separate thing it is slightly connected with compression when we change the compression the rebound will, will change as well I don't know why because Generally, it would be it, it should be the different you know different lines, but but they are somehow interfer interfering each other. So the first thing I would do I would just count how many clicks we have in our fork from full compression like that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 40, 42. We have 42 clicks from full turn in. 
So what I suggest you should go to the half of this area and see. So let's go to 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And I would do the same with rebound. So let's turn off another way our fork and see. It was fully closed, so I'm gonna turn it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 28. 28. So let's go to 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So in this stage, of course, we can do this adjust adjustment when the fork is uh, in our bike. We don't have to take, take out fork and do this uh, kind of adjustments. But I have already uh, taken it out as I have to do some other stuff. So I, it's just easy to show you how it works. And now let's comp compare it with, 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 with what it was before. I can easily feel that it is easier to compress this, this fork. So after you adjust uh, the range okay I'll just remove it right now uh, the range to the middle you need to make a test right and see if you feel comfortable enough uh, on bike if it's too harsh you will just you know feel any bump any hole stones and if any not flat surface it will just you know damage your your hands so then you will have to turn out compression if you will feel that if you feel that uh, that it is still pretty comfortable but it's, but it's still too soft just go a few like two maybe three clicks uh, turn in and see and make a taste right again and check if it's uh, still comfortable enough and if you have a good handling so there you will just reach a limit with when you feel that the, the suspension is stiff enough but there is enough comfort to, to normally drive. For example, there, there will be a different setting for a nice flat track and different setting for a road uh, riding, like to work or something. Uh, for me, riding at normal street, it, it's pretty tough because the, the suspension is, is, is you know stiff and I can feel everything, so I need to just I think I will have to change change oil to uh, to to five W and make a uh, air gap bigger. But never mind. Just uh, just remember that you need to find a balance. Okay. Now going to rebound. How to how do we know that the bike has a, a proper rebound? Generally, rebound is responsible to keep keep tire uh, like stick to to the to the to the to the street to the surface you ride so uh, let's say the the more flat track it is the rebound can be slower uh, it will just make for example if it's gonna be too too soft so this 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 uh, fork will just jump like this the the, the wheel will just go uh, will jump on the street so there will be no friction you will have no no handling possibility so, but if you make the rebound too slow, it will, mm, it's hard to say. You will just feel it because the bike will not, uh, not act like you, like, like, you, like, you, like you want. Okay, the fork will just go too slow. And for example, you will just make a constant wheelie, for example, because it will not, uh, not keep the, the, the friction to the, uh, to the street. So generally it is like when you have a, a bike, forks in the bike, you are sitting in the bike on the front and you press your, your body to the, to the front wheel like this 
The fork must go pretty fast top, but it, it can go only one direction. So it can't do like that. No, it has to be like that. Fork and, and go. It has to, it, it, it can go uh, up fast like this, but it cannot go fast and then bounce again down. It has to, it has to go only one way, because if you do it like that, it will, it is, it is, it means that that uh, rebound is too soft. Okay, so that's what I wanted to to show you. I hope that you liked it.